Okay, folks, uh, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Keno Training Systems. Today, we are going to talk about basic electrical circuits with me, Keno Thomas. <laughs> this is basically just a basic guide to give you a solid background if you are taking uh, a military aptitude test. Um, there's going to be electrical information that you should be familiar with. Um, this is going to make sure that you are more than familiar and you are well prepared for any electrical test or electrical question that you come across. Um, so it'll give you an edge over your uh, fellow test applicants and um, let's just jump right in. First of all, what is an electrical circuit? Uh, the Wikipedia definition is or states that an electrical circuit is a network consisting of a closed loop giving a return path for the current. So we got a closed loop. Now this is a circuit, a diagram of a circuit, but the loop is not closed. So basically electrons cannot flow through this system here until we close the switch. This would be, closing the switch would be like turning the lights on in a bathroom or turning the lights on in a living room, so to speak. So, uh, back to our definition, an electrical circuit is a network consisting of a closed loop giving a return path for the current. So, in this situation, electrons are leaving, but they're not coming back. So, I guess by definition, this is really not a circuit until we flip the switch. That is a simple diagram, but uh, we have some other uh, diagrams that get more and more elaborate. Thankfully, you will not have to dig into something um, this intense, unless you're gonna be like, uh, if you're taking the ASVAB and you're gonna be an electrician, then you're gonna need to know that it's a diode, a switch, a capacitor, a resistor, blah, 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 blah. But we're not going that deep. All we're doing is giving are gaining an understanding of electrical circuits and a, learning a little bit how they operate. So this is a diagram representation of an electrical circuit. This is a physical, uh, we could call it an apparatus, I guess you could say, um, of a, an electrical system. Here we have a battery. Let me just float over it with the cursor. We have a battery shout out to Duracell, we have a switch and we have a bulb. Now in this system, this is a closed system and it is allowing a return path back to the battery or power source. Here uh, we have a diagram. It's not the same, it's not the same in series because we have battery, switch, bulb, battery, switch, bulb. This is battery, bulb, switch, battery, bulb, switch doesn't matter this switch is still going to inhibit electron flow when we open it as it is shown or displayed here here I put them kind of side to side now these are not identical systems uh, I just for the sake of components here we have a bulb so you can understand that this is a symbol for the bulb here we have a switch so you can understand this is a symbol for the switch and here we have the battery or power source so we have battery power source switch bulb. Um, just uh, looking at my talking points. Give me a second here. So what happens in an electrical circuit? Well, whether it's this little simple system over here or it's your car battery, we already talked about what an electrical circuit is. It's a closed loop, like we have a closed loop here. And um, what, what's happening? Okay. Basically, this battery and this battery is changing uh, or using chemical energy and transforming it or converting it into electrical energy. And it is basically uh, applying voltage to this system, powering the system. Uh, and so um, it powers the system uh, until it dies or runs down. Fortunately, in your car system, you have an alternator that returns the energy back to the battery. In this situation, that is not the case. Once this battery runs down, it's pretty much a wrap. 
Uh, that's it. So we have our battery or power source. Battery, battery. We have our conductor, which this is a representation of the wires connecting the components, the bulb switch battery. And then we have our switch. Here's our switch. It's open here, but it's closed here. It, we can tell it's closed because the light bulb is lit and the flow of electrons are going on. So, like I showed you that, like I showed you before that elaborate sketch, um, these are other systems that could be put into a circuit diagram to represent some type of apparatus like we have here. Um, so, um, useful formulas to be familiar with. Okay, one is voltage equals current times resistance. V equals voltage. I represents current. R represents resistance. Here's a cute little cartoon uh, just to kind of give you a little idea of what resistors do. Uh, resistors are rated in ohms, and, and oh, resistance is measured in ohms. Uh, give me one second. That was great. Okay, so resistance is measured in ohms, batteries are measured in voltage, and amps is what current is measured in. So we have our power source producing volts. We have the bulb. The bulb is actually uh, applying some resistance to the current, which is the amp. So you can see the resistance, and you can see the guy like tightening up on him, like, hey, slow down. So the resistance in, is inhibiting, so to speak, the movement of electron flow. Um, here we have our little cartoon, but then we also have a little pyramid you can remember. Voltage on top, I is amps or current, or current is measured in amps, the power is measured in voltage, and uh, the resistance is measured in ohms. So using this pyramid, it's a memory aid and it, it kind of helps us learn how to identify. If I want to find voltage, I multiply current times resistance. If I want to find uh, current, just think of this as a fraction, V over R. So voltage is uh, divided by resistance. And if I want to find resistance, then voltage is divided by current. So this little pyramid, V over IR, if I want to remember, and I'm just slightly closing my eyes a little bit, I guess I got to stay focused, but V is voltage, I, R. So if I want to find voltage, in my mind, I can see I and R in the bottom being multiplied. So to find voltage, I times R. If I want to find resistance, take voltage and divide by current. And if I want to find resistance, take the voltage and divide, resistance, voltage divided by current, I want to find current voltage divided by resistance. I think I tripped up on that a little bit, but you guys get the picture. And I like look liking it is if you covered this up, it looked like a fraction V over I, which is just basically a division problem. The, the numerator is divided by the denominator, and then we get resistance. Numerator, denominator, and we get current. So I hope that was clear. If it's not, just uh, hit me up in my comments section and we could talk about it. So in this system, the bulb is actually offering some resistance. Um, the current is going through the system and I didn't talk about it, but I'll do it in another video, but the way we do this schematically, we have conventional, what we call conventional flow. So for teaching purposes, conventional flow is moving counterclockwise because the positive terminal is at the top, the negative, uh, ter the negative uh, uh, terminal is on the shorter side. So the positive terminal is always up here. So this is the positive, this is the negative side. And for conventional flow of electricity, we teach it as if it's going counterclockwise. But actually, electron flow so the flow of electrons are actually going this way, clockwise. So that is conventional flow and electron flow. 
just for testing purposes, just visualize the, the electrical current going this way. Out of the battery, flowing through the switch, well, it's not closed, so it's not flowing through the switch, it can't move, through the bulb, powering the, uh, the bulb, and then returning back. All right. Um, all right. So that is that. And now we are going to go to our circuit simulator. Um, so stand by and we'll be right back. Okay, uh, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the circuit simulator. Um, let's see here. I want to just basically show you the system that we are going to simulate. And this is a really, really, really cool. I found this, um, I think the University of Colorado uh, created this simulator and it's really really cool and hopefully it will help you get gain a better understanding of what happens in an electrical circuit so I am going to give me a second here so basically this is the system that I would like to simulate. Okay, here's our circuit. We have a battery, we're gonna have a switch, and we're gonna have a bulb. And we're gonna have, we talked about that earlier in this video. We talked about the, the wire it, or conductor. We talked about the switch and we talked about the bulb, conductor, and then back to the battery. So that is the circuit that we are gonna simulate at this time. Now, let's see, battery. There's our battery. And let's just say we want our battery to be nine volts. Okay, nine volts, that's done. All right. Um, actually, let's show, show value. Okay, so we can see there's a nine volt battery there, no ohms, no resistance. Um, batteries up top we're gonna put our switch in the system and a bulb so here's our switch and here's our light bulb and the value there's actually 10 ohms and the 10 ohms of resistance in that uh, bulb here all right so Normally, we have straight paths for electrons to flow, but this one is curved, so it's slowing down. It's like uh, the straight waves are like straight waves on a highway, but then when you get towards curvature, a curved part of the highway, you have to slow down if you don't want to run into the median or off into the shoulder. Let's get some wires going here. All right, so we'll connect there. And I will extend the wire here and get another wire and we'll flip this down and we'll bring you up and we'll bring you down and that switch is open get another wire and uh, no no split junction ah come on yeah these things get a little sticky and uh, split junction. Ah, okay. Ah, all right. <laughs> this is crazy, right? So just give me a second. I promise you, I will get all of this squared away. I don't want this connected there. I want it connected to that point. And then uh, we'll take our wire and we will connect to our switch and go there. And we will get a wire going. Here. and I, I'm just making little uh, points here but just consider this one whole wire you see me like pulling stuff and you know pulling it apart and everything like that so just think of this as, as, as one wire here 
battery to switch one wire here switch to the bulb bulb and one wire here just curving I did this so it could look similar to our circuit diagram so in order this circuit is open it's not a closed system so now what we're going to do is we are going to flip the switch down and look at that now what we see is electron flow all right these this is representative of the electrons the way that they are really moving but the way we teach it in electrical diagrams we teach it we teach uh, conventional flow which is leaving a positive terminal coming down through the switch the switch is closed through the bulb back to the conductor wire and back to the battery that's how we teach it and that's how you need to visualize it but for guys that are really going hardcore into electrical um, engineering electrical systems this is how the uh, electrons flow all right um, I just wanted to think out I'm thinking out loud let's talk about uh, see BRR we have 9 volts 10 ohms of resistance so let's calculate the current going through the system um, again and let me just pull this up uh, if we want to calculate the current that's actually flowing through the through the bulb right now we want to know what the current is uh, what we would do is again this is current so we have to divide voltage by um, resistance we have 10 ohms of resistance in this bulb so we will go to our handy dandy calculator and we'll just put that up on the side here and we will come back to our little diagram here and we'll take voltage we have a 9 volt battery and we divide by resistance 10 ohms of resistance so the current flowing through the system is 0.9 amps now I am going to do another video on voltage drop and this is just for basic understanding for military altitude testing so that's pretty much it um, we can open our switch light bulb goes off we can close the switch and the light bulb goes back on so listen thanks for watching I hope uh, you guys like this video I hope you guys like the simulator even more so uh, with that being said I'd like to thank you guys for watching and uh, please like subscribe and share this is Keno Thomas with Keno training systems thank you and have a great evening